Ellie and Kevin, we wanted to share a little bit about muscle testing with you today. So muscle testing is a way to ask your body what is going on in there and receive an answer. Sometimes it's through a statement, sometimes through a question. And the whole idea stems from the fact that everything you've ever done in your life, every sight, smell, touch, taste, and experience is stored within the supercomputer of you sometimes just below the level of conscious awareness. And with the tool of applied kinesiology, a simple muscle test, we can discover what lies underneath the surface, which can help guide us in our lives. So basically we ask the brain a question, it scans the supercomputer of you. If it resonates as truth, we receive a, a strong muscle response. And conversely, if you ask your brain a question and it scans the supercomputer of you and it resonates as no, that's inaccurate, invalid, or it causes me stress to consider this at all, then it causes a weak response in the system. So we end up with this binary code that allows us to ask the system what's going on and we can get yes, no, true, false, and a stress test. So Kevin's gonna talk about that a little more. Uh, yeah, I liken it to a diagnostic test with a mechanic. Um, how do we tap into our inner body and our internal state, not only from a biological standpoint, but also from an energetic standpoint, emotional, um, everything going on on the inside, to Kelly's point. Our subconscious is exponentially stronger and more powerful than our conscious mind. And it usually runs the show about 98% of the time. And so when we're dropped into these automatic reactions, thoughts, emotions, and we're in our daily process, we're not necessarily, we don't have the car in the shop, but if we keep our car out of the shop for long enough, things start to break down, things start to need replacing, things start to need to be tuned up. So muscle testing, self-muscle testing especially, is a really powerful tool that we can cultivate a practice of to check in with our inner space more often, to uh, it start increasing our capacity for intuition because the more we're self-muscle testing, the more we're feeling, oh, okay, that's what a strong feels like. That feels good. This is what a weak feels like. This is So differentiating between the two states is exponentially powerful in our own experiences. Um, I personally started using muscle testing on our journey of healing and our journey of, of reconnecting to ourselves and connecting more deeply to each other. And then I went ham with it. I started muscle testing what shirt I should wear, what shampoo I should use in the store, um, what uh, what products align with, with what's best and, and highest good for my physical body, for my spiritual body. In doing so, that's when I really tapped into this tuning of my intuition. So it's all about inner knowing, and this is just the vehicle with which we're using to activate and access that knowing. Yeah, some things that I might use it for is checking in with what is my best and highest good. So it's in my best and highest good to go to this event. Yes or no, I'm asking my body. It's in my best and highest good to maintain a relationship with this person. Yes or no. Um, it's it, even a simple thing, like I'm making a purchase for somebody's birthday and I'm online and trying to figure out which one. So I can check with which one I'm resonating the most with to help me decide quicker rather than having to look outside of myself or ask for opinions or call family members. I can ask my innermost self what is truly going on in there rather than second guessing, I'm just checking in. So it's a way to tap into that next layer or level to see what's going on. Yeah. We can even check where our immune system is operating on a scale from one to 100. What's, what's it operating at for optimized function? And our body knows to two decimal points through a muscle test where it's at. Yeah. Um, lately, if, we've been using it a lot to um, check to see if there are energy cords that are mm -hmm. negative, inappropriate, unauthorized, connecting us to either people we work with or individuals in our life that are sapping our energy. And there's a way to gently release those. We can even check if there's dense energy that's attached or attracted to us that is ready to be transformed. Mm -hmm. um, deeper decisions like what career choice should I um, take? Artisan baker or... <laughs> Do I wish to go back to school to study admin? And you're checking to see where your system is at. So those are some of the ways that we can use it. Yeah, and it's really aligning ourselves with the principles of nature. It's aligning what we do and how we are in our lives with almost that inner compass that we all have, but we get so much conditioning and stories and shoulds and shouldn'ts and 
this is how the, this is the way that we do things from family, from society, from friends, um, from culture, that it really drowns out the volume of that inner knowing. Mm -hmm. And the, I, re I really love that self-muscle testing is, a, again, a great vehicle to turn that dial so we increase that, 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 that barometer, that, that depth reader of, is this, re is this really feeling true? And is this really what is going to fulfill me and going towards? Or am I doing something perhaps because of familial, societal, or cultural pressures? So it's a great way to learn more about ourselves. It's a great way to have, you can have fun with it. If you're if you have a big family and like we're gonna we're gonna watch a movie, what movie should it be? Everybody's got a different opinion. We can actually test how much I'm resonating with watching this movie right now. So it's it helps with decision making. It helps with intuition and insight, uh, and it really helps with just shifting our perspectives of our experience in our world to one that's a little bit more centered the more we use it it's a little bit more present because if we're thinking about something in the present moment we can't be worrying about past or future so it's a it's actually a, a little bit of a meditative tool where it just drops us right in the present moment of feeling where we're at instead of thinking where we're at we're going to teach you five different self muscle testing techniques and i I'm going to have Kevin show one because some people are like, what is muscle testing? What does it look like? And there are many different ways. And but everybody's going to have one or two, maybe even three that just fit for them or resonate with them. Yeah. Um, mine happens to be something called a bridge test. And it's just, usually I'll do this down. I have my arm down at my side and it's just pushing down with your middle finger on your pointer finger. So if something resonates as strong, I'll just use my name for this one. My name is Kevin. I'm pushing down as hard as I can. I'm not sure if you can see the flex in my hand. I'm pushing down as hard as I can on my finger. It's not going anywhere because my system is resonating that yes, that is a true statement. Now if I change it and I say my name is Sue Ellen and I push down, I literally cannot keep that finger up. And again, this isn't like, oh, he's just pushing his finger down. It's a method of self information getting more information from our inner selves so his brain practice. his brain is trying to send a signal right. down his arm into the finger because it's a disrupted neural signal it's like a short circuit in that system it's not a strong response so even though he's attempting to hold it the muscle can't hold it, it falls down this isn't magic this is something everybody can do it just takes practice awareness and tapping into those inner feelings which some sometimes can be a hard uh, a hard uh, hurdle for us to get over. Um, but this is available for everyone. How we can apply this in our lives, how we can uh, make it work for us, and how we can start utilizing it daily as a daily practice to cultivate more inner knowing, more inner awareness, and really get us to more of an objective experience in life instead of the subjective experience that so many of us have in feeling that there is energy outside of us that is impacting or controlling or affecting our experiences and so it's really flipping the script on, on the perception of life in a way yeah so we hope that you join us yep. uh, we, um, want, we want other people to be able to have this great tool and use it too and it's one of those where we take our car into the mechanic to figure out what's going on with it we can take our car to our mechanic and figure out what's going on with it there's really no difference from a diagnostic standpoint and then we have more information to act on as opposed to thinking, wondering, hoping, wishing, we can actually know exactly what's going on. So uh, more information is at RadicalEnlightenment.com. You can sign up there. We hope to see you there. Take care. Much love.